this is the process we just keep looking at the map keep trying again until we remember exactly where to go Thanks a lot for watching the stream today, you guys. Hope everyone's doing good. Yeah, this is the process for this category. We're going to I'm definitely confident we can get a really, really good time. And set a decent record. Whether it can uh, get to my goal of sub two hour, I don't know. <laughs> but that's why it's a goal. That my goal's high. Oh, I didn't see this guy. Fuck us over in a second. No? Yes! Alright, give me a trophy, bro. Yes. That's really, really good. Two minute trophy get is absolutely perfect. <clears throat> Not sure how many people would bother resetting to get that on a set seed. It's pretty grindy.
Just need way more stones. probably make that work with the new strats pretty good please give me a good spawn not too bad Way faster start even than last time. I'm actually going to do this as well right here. This just seems kind of quiet. What's up, RuneScape? Thanks for the look. I appreciate that, bud. The fell turn is epic, up, right? <laughs> really epic thing is that it actually works on every boss. Pretty much. I mean, it, it's not actually as useful on every other, any every boss. But it actually works. Like, same basic effect. The every boss, which is kind of nuts. I guess that doesn't mean it's necessarily always useful, but definitely awesome new strat. It's kind of a nice one as well because it's not super easy. Requires extremely good stamina management. Which is nice. Any anything in skill base is definitely very welcome. I'm actually going to run all the way west just to make sure quite early to make sure I don't do what I did last time and go on the wrong little peninsula. Appreciate that, Tony. Yeah, it, it will actually definitely is going to help with a modder when she lands in a random spot that's what the run is all about at this point it's like any strats that allow, like allow an increase of consistency by giving you a way around some bad rng or just you know any sort of countermeasures for any potential mistakes as well
this is a better line. It's not the best line, but I want to like. I don't know. We need to be a bit cautious with perfect lines when we don't know exactly how good all the flint spawns are yet. Obviously, much better than last time. I can't remember how many extra leather we actually need. Meat is just so heavy. Try and hold on to it as long as I can. It's not gonna. We don't need. It's not like a massive thing to. Go for. But we were kind of low on food towards the end of our practice run. We're going to have to throw some stuff anyways. See where I am at. It should be very close. The Black Forest, which it is, yeah. Yeah, you see, we wouldn't want to cut that line much, much tighter. We've just about <laughs> got enough flint. That that was a sensible call. We could definitely cut it more, but well, something that we're actually going to consider as well was making our pickaxes early as well. So basically it should be river and then we're immediately looking for the seed. Pretty much. I'm trying to just bear in mind the fact that we're going to place a bed. At some point, that's why I want a little bit extra. Ah, that's annoying. How long have I been live? Almost five hours. We're gonna have to swim over, aren't we? Did it, did, 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 did. That's more 
important than the actual water. Thanks, new I appreciate that. Good time for you in the community as well, but. even hear a seed could be around here it over this next bit of water so you can't tell might be we're gathering so much flint so we can make a level three club troll cave right there that's it that's it right okay we're on track we're on track much better chat i think there'll be much less chance of me getting lost once we do the elder the black forest is the most confusing i hope to kind of like navigate number one and then we got around the coast a little bit more around the corner another seed and then straight north from that seed yeah we see that other seed perfect much better i actually think i want more stamina than i do yeah, at this point to do the strafe strat on the elder better stamina is going to be more useful Should almost be there. Did I die doing the elder last time? We definitely want to consider if we can not have placing beds in certain scenarios. I might go for an elder with no bed. Thing is though if the RNG is sufficiently bad with where he spawns pretty good chance we'll have to redo it in fact no it doesn't matter we found a really fast spawn last time if we get that again we found a really good spot to put a bed last time if we, if we can use that then it's irrelevant we can do it nice and quick is this a sort of East a tiny bit. I 
40 hours is you know not bad for someone's like casual like play time but yes yeah, speed runs obviously even a even random seed world records four hours 13 minutes yeah that's nice and quick we don't have to worry about that okay I'm just YOLO in it. Please give me a good direction, dude, and a nice little spot. Not, not bad. Oh no, I'm gonna. I don't have the stamina to keep it all lit. Still a good start though. No, you're blocking me. Please do a ranged attack. Ranged attack, ranged attack, ranged attack. Is he still on a fire? Oh, not quite. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm gonna have to relog. Fortunately, still a really good pace though. Need to reload to remove that poison effect. Oh yeah, it's definitely awesome, Tony. It's almost worth just killing yourself there and getting a uh, corpse run. Is he on the fire? He's not quite on the fire. Bad timing with the. Uh, we needed him to do that attack a bit later. Like when he's summoned again. I explained why I reloaded when I actually did it. To remove the poison. I knew I was going to do it then just because I didn't have enough stones do a good one. We got lucky. He did the growl animation. Range stop. No, no, no. Oh. Bullshit.
Uh, I got staggered from a. Uh... Random Grey Dwarf, so it wasn't possible to dodge. I'm just gonna take this real quick because we're done here anyway, despite all this. Seriously? Plus 40 seconds is nothing. We can still get lots of time saved on that. Oh wait, we don't need any of that. Oh, we basically just go west. They actually destroy any... trees I don't think he did stop All right so we want to do this troll cave do this real quick to lose a few enemies a bit of stamina before we do this Sort of northeast ish. This next, after this next troll cave, we should have everything we need to go for level three club and make our weapons and stuff. Definitely gonna need a lot of wood though. I've checked every seed I've been sent, plus almost 300 other seeds, Joe. Um, so yeah, I'm not just like checking them randomly or anything. I've put a lot of time into checking them off stream. This seed is the one that just sent in. And it's the one that I've found that has the most potential other than the seed I was already running. The one I was already running is, is astronomically better in terms of boss location. It's just... The mountain is so bad on it uh, that it's kind of, I think, cancels it out a bit. So this is the next best seed that I have found in about 300 seeds that uh, is the is the next best thing potentially. But I right now it is faster. This seed with current straps purely because of how bad um, the mountain is on the other one. But it's conceivable that someone figures out a way to do the other seed faster. Yeah, they, I checked a lot of seeds, dude. 
a lot of them. I've looked at every seed I've been sent. Most of the seeds I've checked. Like, like I said, I've checked about 300 seeds. So like most of them were not like uh, these people sent me. But I've checked all the ones people sent. And this one was the one that just sent in. Dude. Yep. That's why I wasn't streaming. There's so many seeds to check. And I just knew we'd be able to make a big improvements to this speedrun for this category just by dedicating the time to looking at seeds. I'm 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 yeah, I am going to return to RSG soon. Um but I am going to periodically look for new seeds by the hundreds, you know, not, not just randomly a little bit. I'm trying to figure out ways of automating it. I've been talking with some people about conceivably being able to fully automate it so we can generate millions of seeds, hopefully. But we don't know what's possible yet. It's still early days. I've been able to set up a macro to generate about 70 and automatically save an image of it from the map viewer website. About 70 at a time. It, it, the map viewer actually runs out of memory eventually. So there's some sort of memory leak in it. Annoyingly. If there wasn't, it could do it. Leave it running 24 seven. Um, but I can generate about 70 before it runs out of memory. So that I can just generate them and then come back and just go through the images all in one go. So it doesn't take like super, super long. Needle arrows are literally the best thing against modder, so. It, you know, you. I don't, I don't know what else he's doing. Could be doing wrong potentially, but. Just make as many potions as you can. Or you need. Everyone should make a ton of tasty meals and a ton of stamina potions and a ton of health potions. And you should. Uh, Is this the one that I checked? It might be, right? It isn't. This isn't worth it. Oh, maybe it is. I need a lot of is the is the best thing. Just objectively, like it's what's used for the new game plus speed run. Um but yeah, stamina management and uh staying on top of heals. Making sure <coughs> sure you dodge roll any of her attacks. The only other things I can think of to suggest. There's a troll cave around here that we're missing. Wait, how can I see the ocean there? Or can I even? No, I can't. Good. Could be like around here or something.
more west than this. Definitely close. That's not possible yet, Andre. But uh, some people are working on it. And uh, I've been working on it a little bit, but it's not possible yet. No one has coded anything remotely like it for Valheim, but it's it's in the works. It might we, it might not be possible. We don't actually know, but the hope is that it is. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get it soon. attack so fast then. What do you mean can you use a map that you have created? I don't understand that question. What do you mean by created? How can you even create a seed? I don't know what you mean. go sort of north due east again and we actually probably could get a rest in here again You can, you're allowed to have a second screen up with a map for this category, yeah. We need to get a lot more wood before we leave though. So I, how I figure out this speedrun category is, you know, first of all, I need a good seed. That's a whole other topic in itself on how, how you get one of those. But once I have a, chosen a seed, which you don't you don't like you don't try seeds regularly you know this is the first time in like a year we're trying different seeds it's very rare to get a new good seed for this speedrun category it's just i'm searching for faster ones at the minute because uh, i'm trying to find the objective fastest way to beat the game but it's actually rare like 
But for most people, I would just recommend using seeds that are already being ran, like this seed or the other seed. So exclamation seed or exclamation new seed to see those seeds. Um, we actually should... Do this. I actually can't see that we've got any... arrows or anything and um, but anyway once we've got a seed what i do is um actually it might be worth doing this as well it what i do is um i basically create a start a world and then i just do all the commands on it to reveal all of the locations of things that i want using the find command and I just plot out a route using that on, on the map, essentially. Um, there's obviously all the factors as well that I'm not going to explain all of them. Right at this second, because I need to concentrate. And it's a lot, it's kind of a lot of information, but... Um, but yeah, I basically plot out a route like that, and then I save all of that data... Um, onto a cartography table. And I, and I don't do any runs or anything. I don't loot anything. Don't kill anything. Just leave it like that. And then I back that map up with the cartography table on it. And then I start doing runs with a new character. With all, all the commands and cheats and everything turned off. And I start to... Uh, I read the cartography table at the start of those test runs. So that I have the map data from my test runs. And then once I feel like I'm happy with my plan... Uh, with those test runs i take a screenshot of that map put it on my other computer off to the side and then i just start doing real runs with the screenshot of the map that's how i've been doing it and it's the most efficient way i have found i don't think he's gonna aggro Definitely lost a bit of time to getting a bit lost there. The main thing we want to see this time around is when we get to the swamp. First of all, we're actually setting a real time with a real run. But like, uh, also... We want to see if we can... Uh, get good enough withered bones just by committing to scrap piles in the first crypt. Just missed him. If only we had taco command. Oh! Jesus. It's a random spear fueling this hiding. I'm hoping we can actually make up for any time we may have lost by getting going the wrong way. By just dying a bit less. This is what I'm looking for. It's actually rotated a bit differently this time. Oh, I'm dead, I think. Uh, he's just gonna instantly come for me.
Give me stamina. God damn it. Go on. Go away, wave. I'm being so trolled right now. If we move far enough away, fast enough, he'll stop hitting them. And he will just be trapped. Yeah, it's an insane seed. It's just the mountain's so annoying, that's all. But it's still the best known seed. I think this is actually faster for this category right now, though. Yeah, it was just for fine wood. Instantly five fine wood. see the thing. We're going to try and not put too many beds down. Fine wood is for bonfires. Exclamation seed. Okay. Man of War, thank you so much. The five months YouTube membership, I really appreciate that, dude. You're legend. Thanks for supporting the content and keeping the dream alive. I really appreciate that, bro. Legend, thanks, man at war. Oh, I think it's the one behind this ridge, right? And there was two Deskitos. I think that was this one, wasn't it? What? <laughs> what are you timing? Oh, it's all good, dude. Worry about that. No, where did it come from? I didn't see that one. Yeah, there was a fueling by the fence. I didn't see him either. Yeah.
We're a little bit closer than when, when it, where we were when it happened last time. However, our corpse is in a much worse position. Thanks for watching the stream today, you guys. I really appreciate it. Looking out was trickier before they added the pause mechanic. Uh, it was actually better as in for some scenarios. It's just it wasn't quite as clutch for moments like this. Still possible, but yeah. Other scenarios, like just doing it for stamina and stuff like that, was actually kind of better for it to not pause because obviously you could still be like, you're not saving any real time. You can still be running and just do it mid run. If that makes sense. But yeah, to dodge summit. Like this, it, yeah, it's definitely better with the pause. So, it is an overall buff to the relog, but you know, like I said, there's a few scenarios. It's actually technically faster before because you could just still run a bit. But we're talking about microseconds that don't count in this game, really. I appreciate that, Tony. So it's a pleasure to have you in the chat, bud. Back in my day, we had to manually unplug our computer to look all out of Valheim. True. Now we could just put a bed down before every camp, but they're so slow. We need to just be not dying. It's going to be a lot faster. Eventually we'll just memorize the fastest way to do each camp anyway, the most efficient way. Completely unplug the PC, cut all the power in the house, and put it back on after five minutes. True. Kids just don't know these days, do they? Quite too much stuff to waste. See, I swear I sort of duped left and then went right around that bonfire last time. Or maybe I did it the other way around. So there's a little bit of RNG with like what the enemies actually do anyway, so I could have done it the same way. 
it just worked out last time. Conceivable. But we should be able to figure out a way to quickly loot every camp. Oh, we still need to get the thing as well. This isn't good. Oh god, we need to reload now. <laughs> Holy shit. We might instantly die if we just land on this spike. <laughs> problem with the fireball is that you actually get set on fire. Oh yeah, about the direction I went, yeah. Whoa! Yeah, I thought that would happen. Bruh. Should just reload to lose the enemies. This will be my uh, last attempt. By the way, chat. Whether we finish this run or not. Right, that's number two, right? So two. Yeah, we do go this way a bit. There, I'm guessing. Hmm. Right, I see it. No! No! I'm all tapped! Holy shit! How am I alive? Somehow fat fingered alt tab going for escape. Or maybe the windows key, I'm not sure. It can't be the windows key. It could be disabled. <laughs> Probably dead. Oh my god. Okay, we're alive. Now we go basically a Kind of just north and then it's all the way north towards Bowmass for the last one. We need to be able to do all these camps without having to place a bed and without dying. It's going to be intense, but that is what needs to happen. <laughs> going to be faster. Well, we're naked, but we're not afraid, bro. Do this every day. 
we are figuring out fastest conceivable way to beat the game by doing set seed speed runs or speed runs where you're allowed to play on whatever seed you want i usually run random seed and random seed is much more fun but this is cool as in its own way because you have to figure out the fastest possible way to do everything we already kind of know honestly but we're trying to find a faster seed today we're running a new seed and uh it's nice and fast so we just did a test run before and now we're doing a real run on it we're about to get our last totem then we're gonna do bone mass then your gloss then modder and that will be the end of the run the main thing we want to find out on this run coming up shortly though the main thing we actually want to check on this run is when we get to the swamp we, we want to this seed doesn't have very many hard spawns for withered bone which is very unfortunate but we want to Just try committing to just mining scrap piles for with a bone and just hope that there's got good drop rates. And if they do have good drop rates, then that's going to be our approach for further optimizing this. Uh, I don't think anyone's actually submitted a set seed run yet, post hearth and home. So technically, like any run that I've finished that was valid would be world record if I submitted it. But I actually want it to be a bit more optimized before I do that. I'm not just going to submit my first run yet. But I will submit soon. Are the scrap power drop rates fixed then? I actually don't know, but I'm just assuming by the way the game works that it's going to be the same for each seed. If that makes sense. Like each scrap power probably has the same drop rate every time i'm guessing on a given seed but i'm just guessing um but either way it's like either it's the same every time and it and it has good drop rates and that works out good for us because it's the same every time though we can just commit the same scrap piles every time or it's not the same every time. And we have to reset for good drop rates until we get all 10 because it's... I don't think it's ever going to be fast to collect them. There's wasn't a lot of fixed spawns. But seeing how the RNG of like what's in a chest is locked to the seed, I'm going to assume it's the same. I can't see the totem on this camp. Oh my god, it's right at the back. This is very unfortunate. Have to relog twice we're dead. Throughout stamina and there's a spear mid-air about the hills. Alright, so we only died once. Going for the uh, totems, that's good. Now, next time, this needs to be zero. <laughs>
trying to get to that threat without being destroyed by archers. Might as well just use this. Is like not well, gonna, gonna have much use for it in here. Billy's gonna allow me to jump up this thing, nice and quick. All right now, remember, it took me about an hour. Get all with the bones last time. That's how bad. The rates were. So by comparison, what if just say screw it? We're not changing crypts. We just full commit to this crypt and find every scrap pile we see. I'm guessing as long as the drop rates are good, it should be much faster. Because that is actually how I would normally do a random seed. It's just obviously in the random team, we're also looking for a bone mass for it, so it's not necessarily the best comparison, but. Careful with the random fire placement. Let's use wood. may actually want to consider making three pickaxes if we're going with this approach now. already better <laughs> it was literally every hard spawn only had one we had to go through so many walls to get to it Really? They're not gonna come one at a time? Okay, they are. Eight more to go. Fingers crossed, chat. Oh, 
literally just do every scrap pile. Like we know that there's no room where we find enough, so I see very little point in just rushing to spawn rooms. So the look fake simulator, I appreciate that. Oh my god. It's <laughs> a look, dude, I appreciate that. Are those two archers? That's oh, just one good. Don't want to waste my arrows too much because we do need them for mosquitoes. We got a third one. Like, like I said, this is already better. Than what we did last time. I will have to do this run a few times to really determine. Which is worth doing this every time. Use the bow and we don't have to, it's gonna be more efficient to use the bow here. Oops. I always forget that loses an arrow when you go to the menu. This is it kind of funny, like you can sort of multitask checking your menu if you wanted. <laughs> you know? Firing your arrow. I actually have messed around with doing stuff like this in the game before for more optimization. <laughs> by running an arrow by opening the inventory. It's actually kind of funny. Like, it's so funny how many of these little tricks are just like tiny iterations that we've gone through on the stream over the last year. But like, even like this, it's like blocking them in and throwing the spear through the hole. Like, it's a funny random thing. Yes, we got another one. So we're on four, almost halfway. This is way faster so far. Five. Then we get our ward. Yeah, this is just much, much, much better. So we're about halfway through and what we've been like 10, 15 minutes max. Well, this is like an hour or something before.
So we need to make sure we make a hoe as well before Yag. Like sometimes it feels like it's worth killing the mobs before you actually kill the spawner, but it, it's honestly just usually a trick. It's uh, almost always just worth getting the spawner. You just, the odds of a, an archer spawning in is just too great. Now, annoyingly, we're probably gonna get another mob spawn. Because like usually, what happens is. It seems like there's a max of about two enemies. Luckily though, I think a blob doesn't count. But like if there's two draugers, it's so common that you kill one and another one spawns if the scrap pile is still intact. Definitely a good thing they can't jump. So we've got seven now. So there's actually two there. That's the best room on the seed, I think. That was just with that two. The only thing is, though, we're going to get a chance to get more arrows. I don't think so. We can, we can always stick with more arrows. Oh, another one. Yeah, this is it. It's just like, this is a good fall check. Bet that next room has one as well. We're probably not going to get to loot that, which is fine. Hoping we get one more it's from this scrap pile. Stop getting in the way. Oh my god. Can we kite him all the way? Oh shit, where, where's... I don't have my spear. Mainly. Not in here. No hard spawns, at least. You might get pushed over by the other one eventually. Gonna respawn the army. Maybe we can, considering we only need one, just go a different way or something. We should be able to mine a wall or something and get one more without dying. So don't waste too much time. Where do we go? Got 
It must be north. I'm just not seeing him. There we go. And so let's see, wait, I appreciate that. Yeah, that took like 15, 20 minutes ish. Compared to basically like an hour. Yeah, that's one crypt. Yeah, it's pretty normal. I say it all the time when I do random seed runs. that we commit to just like one? Um, I'm actually just going to go with one platform as well. Cause I seem to mostly end up using this side. So let's do that. Oh, last time we got it perfect. That's still pretty good. I want to be careful about these snaps because sometimes it's not quite right. Alright, let's go. Really good pace so far, chat. Let's see if we can keep this up. I'll definitely submit if we get a sub 230 or anything close to sub or anything close to 230, but I think we're it's def that's definitely not going to happen on this run, but we might be able to get there soon. very fast so far Old mask, please. Stop just sitting there. Two blobs <laughs> on my body. Pretty funny. Shouldn't really be going for meat. Should be going for stamina only. It's a mistake. All right, we'll do better next time.
Oh my god, I'm stuck in the nose. The blob throws always existed. Um, yeah, like the bones and stuff, it was like almost a year ago, it was a very, very long time ago. Like the blob throw thing that spawns in mobs is always just been it, it's random whether it's skeletons or blobs. So if you if you only like kill the boss once or something or you only a couple of times, like you might have just gotten skeletons. It's possible to get all skeletons or mostly skeletons. Yeah, it's, it's always been possible to get blobs as well. Yeah, and the way he looks was redone. Are you two mods going to be able to get rid of that bot? Of course, this time he yeah, actually starts chilling on the... <laughs> on this side. He never even used this side on the last one. Thanks, Paul. But he was coming around then. What's up, John? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Oh, mass, why? It's so typical that the one time I didn't build a platform on that side is the time that he just stays on that side.
Thanks, Rama. I appreciate that. It's in the perfect spot now. Like, even if the bone mass fight it doesn't go as well as last time, it's gonna be faster because of how fast we actually managed to collect all with the bones this time around. Would actually modify the structure a little bit. I mean, even just on the fly. That actually is working all right, considering how quick that was. Is it possible I actually built this on the opposite side to what I thought? I'm actually not sure. It is actually possible because the skull, uh, which direction the skull faces, actually is different every time. But obviously what determines like a good or a bad side is actually more to do with the terrain. Yeah, it definitely does seem that way, okay.
Why do you think spending more time in the beginning builder is better? Because it's actually objectively slower. That is a mentality that isn't of a speedrunner though, man. You just reset until it goes correctly. Do it the fastest way over and over and over again. Reset until it goes correctly. this way. I, he always wants to go that way around. It's funny. Let's try and see the world record live. Oh yeah, any runs world record at this point. I'm trying to get the, the first one. Decently optimized instead of just submitting any old thing. You're also never going to eradicate RNG. Like, just because some strategy gets around some sort of RNG for consistency doesn't mean that it is the, the, the best way to do it because well, the best way is always the fastest way in a speedrun, obviously. It's your only objective. Sometimes Bowmass's RNG is just absolutely perfect in terms of his, his AI just behaves exactly how you want. Sometimes it doesn't. But I think I am going to try and make sure we build on the north side each time. If we're going to go for a one platform.
exactly now we've actually got this set up on this side so there's literally no time loss to make it after the fact it's actually behaving nicely All right, we almost saved 20 minutes on the uh, withered bones. What's that matter about being close to the bed, bro? Oh, actually, one thing we should do. Instantly pop this, don't we? Here, that's what we said we were going to do. Is all the wood that we left behind just from beds? I think it is. Ah, beds. I really want to make less of them. It's definitely looking to be a decent first run. Oh, we didn't make a hoe. Have to make a hoe before we forget. going the right way. So maybe you can quickly do this. Being extra cautious at this point. been pretty good about when we have placed beds not wasting too much time with them so that's good I, i'm going to i think i need to go a bit left or something it's somewhere over here the cloth
Yeah, I'm trying to top my food up for the mountain segment. Do you think worrying about food a bit too much though is a mistake in general? Why have I got swamp on my left? It should like this. This has to be. Ooh, could actually cook. Holy shit. That is the most stacked ball stone I've ever seen. We could actually cook whilst we get rested at Yag. We don't have to go for all this just for the sake of it. Definite piggy galore. Okay, here we go. 28 wood arrows. So the thing is that you have to bear in mind with wood arrows is... You need to draw your bow a bit further to kill a Deskito, really. There is one other thing that could potentially help with more consistent yaks, and that's actually a bigger hole. Oh my god. I couldn't even see that one. Basically, just did that blind. I see maybe oh, we got a slightly different rotation. It's actually a little worse. Let's see what we can do. Actually, it looks fine. Let's just see how it turns out. Do my usual setup, see what we think. Could be a bit shallow for a bonfire there. It might poke out too much. Actually, that's bullshit. I can actually just dig the hole deeper. Just uh, see how it goes. Jump. I yeah, we can fix that. We can fix that. 
Actually, should be fine. I don't think we really, really needed this. To be honest. Um, yellow, I guess. I think we can just yellow that. Looking actually like quite good. It's actually staying lit now, isn't it? Anyway. This left side's a bit high, but hopefully it doesn't try and come from there. Oh. Let's stay this late for long enough. There we go. Uh, we're doing set seed runs today, by the way, guys, not random seed runs. Oh, we forgot to get rested. Oh, well, it's done now. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out set seed at the minute. Because I would like to try and figure out basically the fastest way. I'm trying to beat Valheim in less than two hours for a video. It's like my next challenge. So this, I'm essentially doing speedruns for my next challenge video. But I want it to be a really good time for the video. And I'll make a video explaining the whole process. Just like my challenge videos. Actually, rested doesn't help a lot, but it does help a bit. Uh, this is actually really, really fast. You floor. Thanks for the sub on YouTube, Nicholas. I appreciate that.
this is definitely a really nice jack fight. Anyway, it's going very smoothly. Got a perfect setup. Very nice indeed. This is actually so fast. We've got to hope we get smooth mounted the segment now. Yeah, this this is this run has huge potential. Made so much progress just in the last few days. Just testing things and looking for seeds. My best test run on the old seed that we got was just under four hours. We just did a test run on this seed. That was three hours and 24 minutes. It's a big improvement. We should be on pace to do our first official run faster than that so if we can get this category down sub three we're in absolute banger territory for speed run. speed running wise aren't we for valheim like, that's just nuts Appreciate that on explosion. I'd say it's not really mattered that much that it slightly smothered the fire. You dag leave the trap now, Yak.
Foggy. Oh, we accidentally destroyed the crafting table in excitement. I'm trying to repair. There we go. Oh, we still got some left. We need to make sure like we keep all of our wood. It's one of the reasons why we do model last is that you know you Creating fires actually consumes wood. But all these other boss rats that don't consume wood. I mean, we can just do it all with one set of wood that we get after a certain point. After Elder. Okay. Yeah, this is the seed, guys. There's so much potential. This is literally my first real attempt. Thought I heard a... Desquito then. This seed is exclamation new seed. Because the other seed that you got linked to there is, uh... I assume you can... hook over one of these. No? game please no don't fall The, the other seed without that you get linked to with exclamation seed is still the best one for boss locations. It's just the mountain is scuffed. Okay. Now we're taking this angle on purpose because it's almost vertical. Believe it or not, that's actually what you want for a fast mountain ascension. Just don't die now.
Okay. So. Can I even get out of here? Okay, yes. So far, so good. We didn't get a golem this time. So far, no wolf, but let's not hold our breath about that. <laughs> There's always wolves, bro. Man, I, I, I actually, looking at this map, you can't tell where eggs are. You're honestly, you actually just can't. I have to just go by memory. Oh, I think it's this way, the first one. Yeah, and then like down or left after this. Like this way. There's two walls there. Do we actually want to try and go for this? Maybe just relog and we'll just die on the way back. Thanks, just I appreciate it. Yeah, this is actually your seed. If you didn't know. So yeah, thanks for sending it in. I've checked about 300 seeds. This is the most promising seed I've seen in about 300 seeds. No, the fucking... Don't affect the relog again. I think that was worth doing still. We do, we got remember this is actually the life from the previous egg. So the strategy is to, was to get a corpse run part way, but we managed to actually pull at the egg as well, so um We needed to die at some point. But that actually worked out pretty good. We made it pretty far. Nice welcome on explosion. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to smash the like button on YouTube. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Please and thank you. I've been remembered to say all like the usual jargon and stuff because it's so focused on these set seed attempts and figuring stuff out oh yeah of course we actually got a golem this time but like last time the golem worked out pretty good <laughs> thanks to the follow run yeah we probably just relog again I'm fixing To refill the stamina like it's oftentimes worth relocking before you collect corpse runs so that you're doing it with max stamina 
to get the most out of the stamina reduction to stand more chance of getting away. Fingers crossed this continues to go smoothly because this has been a very, like, extremely smooth mounting segment so far, too. Please just give me... Throwing a few extra jumps there just in case. Midair is not a good place to be when a Drake starts attacking. You want to be kind of moving after the attack starts to get the best chance of a dodge. Ooh. Yep, he's fighting the Drakes. Hell yeah. Right, now the next one, I think we gotta kinda. We wanna st stay running up along the top of these rocks and stuff. We don't wanna go down because it's like a safer path that uses less stamina. And we wanna use this life to put down the next corpse run. We've managed to do every time so far. Yeah, so it's this way. We kind of like the way I'm remembering this is just you just want to stay on top of the peaks. General. And then, yeah, like not go down into. Any of the actual compounds. Something like this is probably. Good. The first corpse run spot. This is actually becoming insane the more this run is going on. Oh shit, what am I doing? Um. Okay. I'm getting excited. Hopefully the modder fight goes smoothly. Or we can get... The, the biggest challenge right now is just this last egg. Everything else is like... Should be easier. But we just have to pray that we get a good modder fight. For the best possible time. On my first attempt. A real set seed run on this seed. me avoid that compound it does seem to me like there's some kind of weird like it seems to me that there's the way the mob spawns work like yeah there are just random ones and stuff out and about but there seems to be a chance that mobs spawn outside compounds like pretty much always um, I'm not relocking for this one because it does it is time loss to relock. Uh if you don't need to. Alright, now I'm in trouble because I don't see the egg. I might be dead. I'm gonna have to relog again, I think, unfortunately. Yeah, this one's rough, but it is the furthest one away. Like, this is the only egg that's making this mountain, like, not perfect, but it's not that bad. Far better than the, than the worst egg on the other scene. <laughs> Oh, oh, yikes. Oh, 
Oh my god. I almost died to a silent wolf again. We got the relog in. Let's see, we've had a little bit of practice now by doing a test run. So I'm warmed up. I almost said when I fluffed my relog on that test run that like, yeah, it wouldn't happen if I <laughs> didn't spend a few days doing other things. And I play every day. I never miss my relogs. There's another trait right behind me. We have to relock again. No? Oh yeah, there is, but it's a little behind. A little delayed. Alright, this is looking very good. One to three hours. Hopefully, some of this modder behaves. I get some kind of weird RNG. to get my bonfire mat. actually is she. she must have landed somewhere but well, she's miles away Angle. We got some damage in. This is so tight, this little hole. I can barely see. I'm actually gonna put a few of these things everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but I'm gonna put dot them around a little bit. Ah, right, yeah, she's actually landed in a different spot again. So. Oh, 
Oh, she's going to stay on that for a while, so that's not too bad. Some good damage. The golem won't attack mod, I know. God. Have to relog. This is actually going pretty good. This is quite a lot of damage. It would be so much better without the golem, but it's never going to be fast to kill him. But if if we get the best case scenario, um, with modders AI, we shouldn't need to actually do the bit where we leave the trap much. She's chilling up there again. See, part of the problem is we're getting in a bit of a cycle. Being out here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Perfect. That's what we want to happen. Then we get back in this hole and then she hopefully gets kited down here. And I'm dead to the golem because I'm stuck. Nah, I'm relocking. I'm not tolerating that. We're not going out that way. Why are we all? I've actually almost been alive for seven hours today. It's crazy. But I suppose we, we're going to like, we basically beat the game twice, so. It makes sense. There we go. One mother, let's land. this uh, yeah she, she is we she can't see us it's the golem that's not like allowing uh... Honestly, I'm going to just stick to the fire. I think it's going to be faster.
be flying now. She must be flying now. Yeah, she's just above me though. What's up, my mate? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. And thanks for a look. We burned that meat, right? No, we got it. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, is she flying again already? I think she is. landed if we can get both these things to do damage I'm trying to think like uh, uh, where does it live with, live with me in smoke for now Wait, where the hell is she Still getting caught by this fire. She left again. This looks good. My God, we couldn't have asked for this to be better if we asked for it. And this could have been better if we asked for it. Sorry, I made no sense. This is insane, chat. Oh my God, if we can get it to do this every time, imagine how freaking optimized mod is gonna get. Oh. This is insane. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. What's up, folks? Yeah, there's no record for this category yet. So yeah, technically it's record. See how I feel about it, if I'm going to submit or not. I think we can still do better. But yeah, it's a hell of a run for sure in coming. damage right now. There we go. Now she is.
And she took off, right? <laughs> It'll be awesome if we can get a foot trap down here every time. back come on get your pot stalk again modder This extra DPS that we're getting from the fort is amazing. <laughs> Definitely legit. Bro. No! She did Oh, what? Whoa, it bounced off the golem. What is happening right now? Alright, I might actually kill myself just real quick. The game's gonna kill me for me. Um, hell yeah, chat. This is one hell of a run. Where is she? There she is. Come on. Let's freaking go. Victory. Hell yeah. I think I am going to submit that one. I think 239 is an absolutely insane start. The official post hearth and home set seed glitchless all bosses submissions because this is literally only a few minutes away from the fastest three half and home run and this was actually my first attempt of running this seed properly uh just outside of a test run we did we did one test run and then this and we got 239 holy shit i'm starting to believe that the um the sub two hour might be possible. So hello YouTube and welcome everybody to the first ever world record for new game set seed glitchless all bosses post hearth, ho hearth and home. Yeah, the pre hearth and home record is 231, which is insane. And that seed isn't even recordable anymore. So this is literally like the like my first time even trying to do this run on this seed i did one test run and then this this my first real run and we're already so close to that so this is the rec record for sure post half and home and uh i can do better i can do better i think we can get close that's uh, maybe sub two hours if possible but so freaking close so hell yeah get spamming in the chat guys so you'll be immortalized in valheim speedrun world record this is only record right now because there's no other submissions, but I think this is actually worth submitting. So it's record because I just need to submit and it'll be record. Um, because I think 239 is going to be hard to beat. Um, I'm sure people like Thread are capable of beating it because it's not like I haven't super optimized it yet, but I think we actually played really well. So I think it's definitely good enough to submit and uh, have that be the time to beat for the time being and yeah definitely going to do more runs on this seed because man the dream is alive the dream of those sub two hours is alive if you're watching on youtube hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the like button leave a nice positive comment on the video 
and uh, swing by a live stream if you're not currently watching live. I'll stream on this channel and on Twitch. There's links in the description. And if you'd like to support the content, there's links in the description to that as well. Till next time, have a good one.